people call me a child bride because I got married at 14 to a 22 year old. I went to take my um, daughter Crystal to get her dress fitted for her eighth grade graduation and I asked her if she was pregnant because I seen the stretch marks. Two days from my 14th birthday I got pregnant. There was a restraining order on at that time for Matt to stay away from my daughter but it was already too late she was already pregnant. Oh I was kind of upset at first but they were 11. I think marriage was the right thing. My mom signed her parental consent for me to get married to my 22-year-old fiance. We got married May 3rd of 2005. On May 4th of 2005, the police came knocking on our door. He was arrested for sexual assault of a child. When it hit the headlines, it was literally everywhere. A man who made national news when he was accused of impregnating and marrying a 14-year-old girl pled guilty to first-degree sexual assault today. Matthew made headlines after Nebraska lawmakers decided to press charges against him for having sex with a minor. I think they mislabeled my husband as a sex offender because he's not the typical sex offender. He's labeled as one, but he married his victim. I don't think Matt deserved to get the punishment that he had received. They were only making an example of him. Matt is not a monster. He is not a typical sex offender. He's not at schools. He is with me. Um, how old were you when you got married? I was 22 when I married her at the age of 14. She was 14. Um, any thoughts running through your head? I'm 22, I'm dating a 14 year old, I'm gonna marry a 14 year old? I did at the time I realized and still do that it was wrong years on end, how people couldn't understand how a grown man could be with somebody so young. And it was one of those love at first th sight things. We. Start. Um, love at first sight, though, but when you first met her, she was six years old. <laughs> she was eight when I first Oh, she was met eight. Her. Okay. And I didn't, okay. I didn't know who she was, and then... Did you fall in love with an eight-year-old, though? No. Okay. Well, how old was she when you first started having sex with her? I got her pregnant when she was 13. But that's not what I asked you. I asked you how old she was when you first started having sex with her. Listen, I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable. I'm not trying to intimidate you. You went to jail. You did your time. I'm just asking a question. She was 12. She was 12 years old. At that time, how old were you? 21. 21. Uh, you're 19 years old now. Um, you have four kids. Um, your feelings about that? Does anyone else have four kids? I have two. How do you feel about that? I feel great about it. Thank you. Yeah. You just answer my question. Yeah, does anyone want to get married? Honestly. I mean, well, I'll answer that. I didn't want to get married when I was 14 years old. I don't know how you were when you were younger, but when I was 14, I was not the typical child. And. And what made you not the typical child? Uh, I was in resource in most of all my classes due to my high knowledge. You were what? High knowledge. No, I mean before. I could not do add and subtract in second grade. I was doing multiple and division. I was not a typical child. Am so I, you were, am I saying you were I'm very smart? Very smart and very mature. So you're saying at 14, you were capable of being in an adult relationship, having a sexual relationship with a much older man? Why not? Well, I would think that even as your husband has stated, he certainly wouldn't want someday your own daughter to grow up to be 12 years old having sex with a 20-year-old man. You don't know when you're going to fall in love. You could fall in love at 19. You could fall in love at 30. In your opinion, then, can a 12-year-old consent to sex? They do where we live, yes. No, I'm asking you. Do you think a 12-year-old can consent to sex? If it's my child, no. But if it's anyone else's, I really don't care. A 12-year-old isn't too young. A 12-year-old's more mature than a 10-year-old. Hold on, hold on. But the same argument could be made, uh, you know, an 18-year-old is more mature than a 12-year-old. I guess that would be possible. Um, I mean, there's, 
There's laws that say this is illegal. Yeah, but God did not write those laws. And is it necessary for God to write the law to make it, you know, worth being a law? Uh, There's reasons why we make these laws. Yes, to protect children. It's not illegal to f your wife. But when you were 12 years old, you weren't his wife. When we got married, the judge didn't really, yeah, we had a child. It was DNA proved, or not necessarily DNA proved, but. He was the only man you had sex with. Right. But it's not like I was a virgin before. Some people would say that uh, by entering into a sexual relationship that this is, this is rape. They did say that. But in your but mind. But it's mind. not the truth. Um, if not Matt, in ours. If Matt went, if you guys, you know, the show's over, you go back home, Matt's walking down the street, he sees a 12-year-old girl, he starts talking to her. That would never happen. Well, if it did. It would never happen. Well, it's it happened not, once before. Uh, and my question is, if he had sex with another 12-year-old girl, would you want to see Matt prosecuted for having sex with a child? If she wasn't a virgin, yes, I'd want the man what prosecuted. Is what does virginity have anything to do with it? If you're not a virgin, then some, they can't rape you. At some point, you have to have sex not exactly. to be a virgin. But if you are 12 years old and you're not a virgin, the person that you have sex with at 12 years old should not be accountable. Did you for just it. say, if you're not a virgin, you can't be raped? No, I said, if you're not a virgin... And you're on the show today, and you want what to happen? We don't need people to be making fun of us, and constantly, not only Matt, but me, getting in our face, telling us what to do, how to live our life. It's not right. I really don't care what people think of me. Yeah, I was 14 when I got married and had a kid, but it's no, none of your business. Not one. No one's. It's mine, my life. I'm going to live it the way I want to, whether you guys like it or not. How are you doing, Cece? Pretty good. Um, you signed for your daughter to get married um, when she was 14 years old. Yes. And what, made, what led you to make that decision? Uh, she was already pregnant. She was pregnant? She was pregnant. You didn't think of any other uh, alternatives to getting married? Maybe not like, just... Like what? Not getting married? <laughs> like what? Um, is it your you're, belief? You're Mr. Fix-It, man, so... You have all the answers, so say something. You have all the answers. Obviously, you know more I'm about it I'm not claiming than us. to have all the answers in this case. I mean, I, I know what I, I would do if I was in your situation. I would have done it differently. I'm asking you, is it your belief that if a young girl gets pregnant, the only option is to get married? If the man sticks around. I'm asking your mom. If, he, if he's, you know, willingly to step up to plate and he's the father of their child, why not? At what point did you discover that your watching. daughter was having a sexual relationship? When we went to get her fitted for her eighth grade graduation dress. And she tells you she's pregnant, and your reaction is what? Yeah, first, yeah, I wanted him to go to jail, but not to prison. So I guess something led you to change your mind at a certain time. We had a family group meeting, and we talked so to So you him. sat down with Matt? Matt and his mom. And me. And you all sat down, and you said, mm -hmm. you asked him what his intentions were, or... Yeah. And, and he yeah. said he'd like to marry your daughter. Right. And you said? Sure, why not? She's pregnant. <laughs> your granddaughter, uh, you have three of them someday. They become 12 years old. Will you have any issue if a 20-year-old man starts sleeping with your 12-year-old granddaughter? I already tried to protect my daughter. I didn't so. ask you that. I asked you, would you have a problem with it? I am, but I'm just a grandparent. Okay. So as a grandparent, you couldn't do anything? Parents, well, I'm just asking you. As a grandparent, you couldn't do anything. Like what? If I beat his ass, I'd get put in well, jail obviously, for it, so... Well, obviously, you don't have a clue because you couldn't even stop your own 14-year-old daughter from... <laughs> don't you make tough decisions for your children, whether they like it or not? so that you get the best out of them, so you make life the easiest, so they're not in a position where life is difficult and life is hard. Is that I what you said? I one with all the answers you do, obviously. I, you know what? No. You know what? You know what? I have answers 
I have answers when it comes to my children. You ask me anything about my children, I got answers. Damn right. Damn right. You should applaud me, because if you had any of me inside you, you wouldn't be in this situation. You wouldn't be standing on my stage. And I love the fact that you find humor in this, and you go like that. You, you find that humorous, yeah, and if that makes you feel better, I hope that makes you feel better. I don't know, I don't know how old you are, whatever, but you've had enough lifetime to learn how to be a responsible parent, but you haven't learned that lesson. And I have neither the time or inclination to teach it to you. So you, ma'am, can get the hell off my stage. <laughs> In all fairness in life, your mother let you down. And you're in a situation you are because you didn't have good parental guidance. Your mother failed you. The fact is, though, you're living your life now. And I wish you no harm. And I wish you nothing but the best. If this is your family and you, you want to be a father and this is your wife and kids, I wish you nothing but the best. Let's get that straight. I hope you can go through life with no problems. I hope and pray that you will stand up and make the tough decisions for your children that your mother didn't make for you. Good luck. It's been a long time. Hey, hey Mayor Crystal, welcome back. Uh, how have you guys been? Been doing pretty good. For the most part. Yeah. When you look back and you watch that tape, what runs through your mind? Sadness. Sadness. Do you look back at that tape and say, God, what was I saying? Or do you say, no, I still believe that to today? Well, I mean, it's, it's kind of a both kind of thing. Um, I didn't have a dad growing up at all. No. Um, my mom was there for me. You're, you're very emotional right now. Is there a reason why? Uh, my mom passed away. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, you're not, not, I, you're not a re uh, registered sex offender anymore? You no, served his time. Yeah, just because I asked, because when we did the show, it said that you had to be on for 25 years, but obviously that got cut short, right? We, yes, it did. It did, because we no longer live in Nebraska. So With the, us living in a different state, uh, did, we this, have to the, go the, by the, their did laws. The, did the new state take your kids away? No. Yeah. How hard is that to lose five children? Very. It's very hard, but we still think about them constantly every day, and we still love them as much as we did back then. Oh, I'm sure. Do you get to have contact with them? No. No. The five we sure don't, but we do still have, we have two at home. Right. That we get to hug and kiss every night before right. bed. How hard is that for you, Crystal, not to have those five babies in your life? Very, very, very difficult. Oh. What was that like when they took them away? As if I couldn't breathe. Do people now, 13 years later, do they know who you are? Do you still get a hard time about your relationship? Unfortunately, yes. We do to those who still remember. Yeah. Or even the ones that don't remember. When we, if I request a day off of work because mm -hmm. it's my wedding anniversary, they're like, oh, how long have you been married? When I make <laughs> the comment of when, we were married, or how many years it's been? They're like, "Oh my God!" Well, you, you know, I didn't even think about. Old? Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, Crystal, I didn't even think about that. But if you're, you know, 32 years old, and they say you've been married for 18 years, people can really do the math pretty quickly, then, huh? Oh yeah, and they give me all the time. It's like, hey, look, it's been 18 years. Drop. Yeah. Well, you guys like, are together. And you, <laughs> You certainly have legal age now and have been for quite some time, and you guys are still together. So uh, I'm guessing there's an undeniable bond there. Um, do you plan on having any more kids? No. 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 We have each reached the end of the road, so, so to speak, with kids. Right. Like we've got one of each at home. They're perfect. They're healthy. Uh, there's four years difference between the two, so there's a lot of fighting. So we're good. Well, uh, it was great to catch up with you guys again. Uh, and, I, and like I said, the last time we were on your show, nobody wishes any ill will. We, we want the best for you. We hope that you guys can be happy. And, and I certainly hope that at some point in your life that you're, the five children that were taken away, you know, maybe they find their way back to you and 
And once they turn adults, maybe you can have a relationship again. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's going to watch this and say, you know what? She was brave enough to do that. I can do that, too. Do you want to tell your story on The Steve Wilco Show? Visit the link in the description to get my help.